All right, today's movie is Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers from 1988. Theme song. Okay, so I picked this Halloween movie because I've seen the first one, I've I think I seem to remember having seen two year, like when I was pretty young. Saw part of three. I've seen H two O, and I think the one that came after that was that the one with like Buster Rhymes in it or something, where um, Jamie Lee Curtis gets killed right away. Spoilers, but I kind of missed out on these middle ones, so I thought it would be interesting to see if this one was any good, and I was actually kind of surprised that I ended up kind of liking this. So we start off, we, of course, we ignore Halloween 3 because Michael Myers isn't in it, not related. So Michael, he is comatose. He's in a mental health place. They are getting ready to transfer him. All right, move him. And they mentioned that Lori Strode had a kid. And of course, oh, that sort of gets Michael waking up. Did Hoffman say anything about living relatives? Yeah, a niece living in his hometown. Well, this kid, Jamie, she is living with the Carruthers. I thought they were like her cousins, aunt and uncles or something, but Wikipedia just says a foster family, and honestly, I don't care enough to go back and look. But I say they're li she's living with this family, the Carruthers, but... They don't really seem to be doing anything. Like, conveniently, through the movie, they're going to a party or something. But even before that, it's up to their teenage daughter, Rachel. She seems to be the one that's doing most of the parenting. And because she's talking to the kid, like, oh, I wish we were really related to the kid. And, and she's like, well, you know, I still love you as much. And you love me, Rachel? <sighs> Serious questions tonight. Of course I love you. Like a sister? Jamie, sometimes Like a it's... real sister? We're not really sisters, Jamie. But that doesn't mean that I love you any less. And so, Rachel, the teenager, really seems to be the one taking care of this kid. And, you know, we have Loomis. He's like, Michael Myers is... Totally gonna go kill these kid, this this kid, and you know it takes a while for the police to get there and things like that. And Michael Myers starts killing people, really deviating from the formula, right? However, like I said, I kind of like this. Here's what I liked: Michael is not the superhuman, unstoppable killing machine that he would become later on, or that somebody like Jason becomes. Sure, he's over the top. Sure, he is mo more indestructible than a normal person. But it's just a little bit. It's not. They haven't cranked it up to 11 yet. And he doesn't have those sort of magical teleportation powers that, you know, he seem, doesn't seem to know where everyone is at all times and can just show up there right away. Takes him a little time to get to the town. Um, I also kind of like that when the town hears about it, they're kind of like, oh, hell. And they get a lynch mob together, but that does not go well at all. They end up, it ends poorly, and almost immediately a lynch mob's like, that was a mistake. And later on, they're even like, you know, let's, let's let the police handle this. They're the ones who get paid. I'm out of here. You are up, but that makes sense to me. Let's get the hell out. You saw the police station. Let the troopers have it. That's what they get paid for. Screw it. Let's get out of here. So I kind of like that. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Another thing that was pretty neat was, of course, because Rachel, our sort of main character, is a teenager. She's got uh, relationship drama. Her boyfriend hooks up with the local um, mean girl. And we even get a little bit from the mean girl that shows, hey, this mean girl 
she has some reasons for things. Her pers- we not, may not agree with her perspective on things, but she has reasons for it. So she's not just a totally one-dimensional character. I didn't know you and Brady had anything, okay? You knew. You just didn't care. He's not married. Besides, I've got a right to do what's best for me. Don't you mean what you do best? Wise up to what men want, Rachel. Or Brady won't be the last man you lose to another woman. Now, it did start a little slow. They're trying to set things up. But once it gets going, I kind of liked it. Four thumbs up. Should I watch the rest? When does the series get bad? What do you all think? You know what I'm going to say now. Leave a comment below if you want me to watch some more. And as always, if you do want to watch the movie, there's links below where you can buy it. I know the release just released a fancy new edition to come out with the current Halloween Kills, I believe is the name that is the current one. But there's also links below to where you can stream it and stuff like that.